it was very natural that with the out there mug of the show that I would talk to you and have a this, sip of nothing. This whole interview is out there. There you go. Ding. Melissa, welcome back to Out There. One of my favorite events happens to be Hot Docs, an opportunity for you to catch some of the most incredible documentaries from around the world. Well, this year I'm excited because Morgan Spurlock is a part of it again. Remember, he brought a Super Size Me and some great films since then. Well, his latest project gives us some insight into the role of product placement in the media. Check it out. So what I want to do is make a film all about product placement, marketing, and advertising, where the entire film is funded by product placement, marketing, and advertising. Product placement is a huge part of the movie making television industry. Yeah. Now, in doing this, did you learn something new for yourself in terms of what's the difference between selling out and buying in? Well, I, I mean, the biggest thing is when you when you sell out, you ultimately give up the creative control of your project. And, you know, we bought into the idea of Hollywood filmmaking, that here's how Hollywood says you have to make big movies. You have to make big marketable films with all of these brand partners. And uh, and so for us, we wanted to make sure that we retained that creative, you know, influence over the final work, which we did. And I think that's what makes it work. Well, I think you mentioned something that was that is very annoying. When you watch a movie and you can spot the product, yeah. and it's like, oh, come on, do we really need As that somebody's holding it right Right next to the face. They're going, yes, yeah, that's exactly. absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, um, drives me crazy. Okay, so in the film, I'll come visit you guys and pitch you about being in the film. And I understand that, that also you need some of these things to make up budget gaps. But in terms of a larger conversation about marketing and advertising, it, this, these are things that are continuing to bleed out into real world, where we're being marketed to on a daily basis, advertised to from the minute we wake up. You know, we're using product placement in this film as an entree to a much larger conversation, where it seems like as you go out in the world today, everything's brought to us by oh, some sponsor. it's crazy. Product placement, what do you think should be done? There should be some little pop-up that comes on and says, advertising. It could be a scroll at the bottom, it could be a little pop-up, whatever. Whatever. But the moment people are being advertised to, they should know they're being advertised to. So how do you balance that and make sure that you don't give up your integrity? I mean, I think the biggest thing you have to do is make sure that it doesn't turn into a, you know, if in a film, a 90-minute commercial, you know, in a, in a show like this, a 30-minute commercial, you don't want it suddenly, you don't want to feel like you're giving up what the creative essence of your idea was. We're in. <laughs> Mini Cooper, official car, the greatest movie ever sold. Are we getting seven? This movie, it works completely because we were able to, you know, incorporate that into the storytelling as you see the machinations, you see the give and take, the compromise that happens. But uh, I think in, ultimately it doesn't work for everything. Is there a plot? This is the movie right now. Well, we had a good compromise here tonight, Morgan, because, you know, you promoted my show and I and said... what it's a great show it is and possibly the greatest. Thank you so much, Morgan, and the greatest filmmaker of the greatest movie ever sold right here on Out There. Sell, sell, sell. Ah!